Hi everybody, it's Soap Man and it's time to make some more soap. So I'm going to be using the same color palette this evening that I used last week. If you missed the video, I did layers. Turned out really well. I'm really happy. So I had the you know the black, orange, green, and purple. And I really like this color palette. So I decided to see how these would swirl. I thought about it last week and I was really reluctant. And I still am a little bit, but I'm just kind of curious to see how those were swirls. So I used a different fragrance that accelerates so it would help my layers set up quickly. I'm fragrancing this week with Crafter's Choice Orange Cranberry, which smells fantastic and behaves incredibly well. So I'll be using the same color palette, which is activated charcoal from my black, a combination of Mad Micah's Tangerine Dream and Brambleberry's Tangerine Wow to give it some kick. I'm going to be using uh, Nurture Soap's Purple Vibrance and Nurture Soap's Green Vibrance. A little bit different color order. I'm going like a dark color and a light and another dark and a light just to kind of keep these from muddling together. I'm a little nervous that they're going to blend together, especially if some of these mix in with that black and the black just takes over. We're going to find out. Bottom line is it's a bar of soap. So that's the main thing. So let's get started and see how this goes. I do want a fairly thick trace, so I'll probably do a good bit of stick blending because a thick trace is going to help those colors stay separate and stay, you know, not muddle and mix together. So let's start. We'll slowly, carefully pour our lye water into our oils, and I'm soaping at about 88 degrees Fahrenheit. So I will mix these until they're emulsified and separated out. So let's get this into our four containers, and as always, they're almost always close is good enough. this out because I am finished with it. Let's get these colored, scented, and poured. And once again, I will be doing it in this order. So I have a dark, a light, a dark, and a light. So we will be starting with our activated charcoal. Stir to start. And then we'll 
we'll be using our two oranges. So this is our Tangerine Dream from Mad Micah's. But it just didn't give it quite the orange I was looking for. So, I have a Tangerine Wow from Brambleberry, which is like super potent. Just a small amount. See what that looks like. And that's looking pretty good. Purple Vibrance from Nurture Soap. So we see that beautiful purple. Put in a heaping, a heaping teaspoon. Give it a hand stir. Looking good, looking good. Certainly not least is our green vibrance. Which is a nice bright green. Turns kind of a muddy brown green when it mixes with the light solution, but it always turns back. confident with these. Now, because I want these pretty thick and I know this fragrance behaves, I'm going to go ahead and mix it in now and then stick blend it in to help speed it up a little bit. to darkest, which will start with our green. That's more stick blending than I normally do with fragrance in, but I know this behaves well and I want this to get semi thick before I pour it. these sit for just a minute. I'll be back. All right, my purple is just a little thin, but my black's getting a little thicker, so let's just go ahead and start.
Raphael Pass. I'm not going really for anything specific, no pattern, just going to really kind of very random on the top. And then it'll blend it all together. That is what I have for today. So let's give this a squirt of rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash, because it will definitely show up on this dark top. I'll let this sit five minutes, spray it again, wrap it up, and put it to bed. And folks, I'll see you tomorrow for the cut. So thanks for watching. Bye. And it's tomorrow when we're back to cut our soap. And so far, pretty happy with it. I love this collar palette, especially in the straight lines like I did last week. I am curious to see how it swirls, so let's get to it, cut into it. Everybody, are you ready? Okay. So it does look from the side view like I had my goal was to have bigger chunks instead of have everything swirl and melt together. So let's see what the bars look like. Make sure you can see. Oh, yeah, that's, that, oh, very nice. Nice, big, defined colors. Okay. Oh, man. I was also careful how I poured. I poured it a little closer to the mold so it didn't get a lot of momentum dropping in, which I think prevented some of the color mixing and muddling together. Yeah, that is nice.
Very nice. That is really exactly what I was hoping for. Everything is well defined. So yeah, I am super happy with these. Very pleased with the way they turned out and the fragrance. Love this fragrance oil. And not only does it behave and smell great, it really holds up in cold process. So, so that's what I have this week. Thanks for watching everybody. Stay safe and take good care of yourselves and I'll see you next week. Bye.